Well, sports in the 90s is more than just slam dunks and runs off tackle. It's become a game of the mind in many ways, and our guest here at halftime is a fellow who works in a lot of those matters, Ray Petrus, and you can't call him a sports psychiatrist. You can't call him a human development consultant. The correct title is Performance Pain Management Specialist. That's correct. Ray, what does that mean? Well, I work in a, a lot of areas, basically, but uh, performance, you know, working with the athlete to improve their performance, level performance, and, and recently it developed a technique psychologically that aids the uh, coaches and the trainers and the physicians to help the athlete get back on the field more quickly, reducing their pain. And very familiar with a lot of the people here at St. Thomas, a lot of the players. We're going to talk about a couple of them in a minute. One of them, though, that you worked with, you worked with Gary Treadle, and we'll talk about him in a minute, but perhaps the most interesting case was the cross-country runner, Michelle Oje, who was a very good runner but just couldn't finish races. You sat down, you worked with her. Michelle ran races, ran races well. Explain it. Well, actually, uh, Michelle had the problem where she had... Uh, uh, fallen down in two races, just couldn't couldn't uh, proceed with the final race. Uh, at that point, uh, Joe Sweeney came up to me and says, "Can you do something? You know, we have, we're going to the regionals in two weeks." So I worked with her three times, without going into a lot of the technical things. Mm -hmm. We worked with, with visualization and, and working with her to uh, improve her performance. And after the third time, we I, I had her say, "Well, what?" If you were to run a race, the next race, what do you think you'd run at? And and she says, "Well, I think I'd run at this exact time." <laughs> And, and believe it or not, when I talked to her after the race, which she did very well in the regionals, she says, not only did I do well and finish and felt good, she says, but I ran to the second what I said I was going to in the session. Now, is this visualization? Because we know what visualization is. Larry Russ has used it here in the past with his track runners. Is that what you're doing with them? Well, it's a combination of many things. It's not just one particular visualize yourself shooting better. There's a whole lot of combinations because a lot of the athletes have little blocks, little little things that interconnect, and you have to you have to work with a lot of those, not just one particular aspect. You worked as well as we mentioned with Gary Treadle, right. who uh, turned out to be an All-American and one of the top runners in the school's history. But two years ago, Gary Treadle wasn't running for 250 yards a game. What did you do with him? Well, it was real interesting. Uh, Gary had the, the previous year that I worked with him he had run 350 yards total rushing. And we were working, we work in small group sessions on, on Thursdays when I was working with the team. And Gary came one time, and I was the only one there, and I said, well, Gary, what do you want to work on? He says, you know, he says, I know I should be able to go around the end. He says, but I just have trouble. I just know I could, but I just don't seem to turn up field. Can we do something? Well, we worked again with relaxation. I, I taught the whole team of focusing different focusing techniques. And I said, okay, I want you to focus and tell me when you're ready to go. We took him through uh, his running around the end and, and being around the end already and, and doing a good job. And that was seven minutes because he had to be at class. I looked at my watch, and, and, and so on Saturday, it was the Gustavus Adolphus game. He came into me in third quarter. He says, gosh, Ray, i got to talk to you at the end of the game. Well, at the end of the game, we talked, and the team had 242 yards rushing, and he had 218 of them. And from then on, it's history. Let's say I'm a basketball player, okay, and I'm having trouble shooting free throws, and I'm a good basketball player. I'm Scott Thompson saying I know I can play the game, but I'm having trouble shooting free throws. Give me a quick 10, 15-second phrase of what you would tell me to get me back shooting free throws again. Well, first I'd have to get some information from you because there's a lot of ways that the athletes work. Some of them are very emotional. Some of them hear the sounds. They're auditory. In other words, they can hear somebody yelling at them. So what you do is you might work with blocking some of that stuff out. If the person's a feeling person, you get to get him where he's, well, how did you feel when you shot well? Well, I felt this way. And then you, so you work with the feeling. Sometimes people are very visual, so you say, imagine yourself shooting it better. So you have to find out how the, how the athlete actually works before you can just say to do something. And He's, this right now, this is your full-time gig, right? This that, is your that's, business. That's correct. Ray Petras, who is a uh, performance pain management specialist here in the St. Paul area. It's halftime here from Shawnee Arena. We'll be back with more after this timeout on City Vision.